that is Ken and Deb here, and not only are we on the radio, but we're also going to be on Facebook. So we welcome you to the conversation. Grab your cup of coffee this morning. Join with us. There's no need to feel isolated because we're right. all together in this. Exactly. So yeah. You can join us. And we're talking also about an article um, that is talking about the eight different things we can learn from the coronavirus during this time. You know, we can also um, learn things during times when everything else seems to be in chaos. Right. Uh, we should focus and learn things. Also, we're talking about Bible verses mm -hmm. as well that you would turn to or that you've been turning to during this time. So give us a call and share a Bible verse that brings you comfort mm -hmm. and that will help comfort others this morning. Our right. phone number, 800-221-9356. It is 701. Here is Mark Schultz, and he is on Moody Radio Quad Cities. All right. That's the way we do it. <laughs> well, kind of. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Hey, welcome to Facebook Live. And this is us while the song is playing. Mm -hmm. um, we just kind of have some conversation about what we're going to talk about uh, coming up. And glad that you're along with us. Mm -hmm. Usually I dance at this point, but since I'm on <laughs> Facebook Live, I'm standing very still. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy hasn't stolen her chair yet. Uh, so that's still to come maybe in the next 25 minutes or so. But if you want to harmonize, please do. Don't yeah, keep right. us from it. <laughs> Ken, uh, her chair's stolen. <gasps> it is. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> oh, Jeremy is done I don't done know again. how he did this because you were so busy over there. How did you do this? Do you have a little mini-me behind it, <laughs> <laughs> He's <true>. very sneaky. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, all right, so we're going to be talking in just a, a minute or so on the air uh, about the different uh, lessons we can learn during this coronavirus, different things that we can um, apply to our lives. And, and so maybe you've got a, uh, a Bible verse that you're right. turning to during this time. Like we said on the air, we would love to, uh, to have you share that with us. You can actually message us while we're doing Facebook Live. You can just put it down on the comment section, you know, just comment as we're on Facebook Live, and um, we'll go ahead and share that verse, or you can give us the address for the verse if you know that. But uh, we love that you're listening in and um, praying for you and praying for each other as we go through this time. Right, exactly. So, yeah, so we're going to have uh, that conversation here in just a minute about the uh, eight things that um, we can learn. Shelly shared a uh, verse so we have one of those to share. Oh, good. Um, Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Great. So we can Thank share you. that coming up here. Appreciate it. So you can comment again, if we, like we said on our, on our Facebook video. Love to know that you're listening. So this Facebook Live is supposed to go for till 725, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's right. So I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 22 minutes or so, but... <clears throat> Well, well you've got a minute and a half till the song <laughs> ends, so. <laughs> oh. Maybe you can give us some suggestions on things you've been doing doing as you've been home, too, or planning on doing. Maybe right. you're doing a house project or something. If you're not yeah. able to get out, maybe you're going to paint a room or right. clean yeah, out a door. My, or... my son's been putting in a new floor in his house. Uh, they ripped up all the carpeting. Wow. And now they're putting in like a hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, and so I saw some it. pictures on there. Yeah, well, they've also got, their little ones have got some allergies and, and things like that, mm -hmm. and they thought that this would really help. Oh, good, you know, yeah. get the flooring out yeah. and put the, the new flooring in. So we'll see. Hopefully it, it helps them. Got some practical opportunities you can do while, while you're stuck inside. Right. I guess I should clean. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like too much work, Deb. You mean you don't go home and just sit on the couch and eat bonbons and watch TV? Or... Oh, okay, all right. It's time to get back. Oh, you got 20 seconds. Here's Mark Schultz. And he is on Moody Radio Quad Cities at 7.05 with Ken and Deb in the morning. And also we're on Facebook Live right now, too, by the way. If you want to jump on with us and see what's going on in the studio. Maybe you don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we're talking about an article from the Gospel Coalition. 
and it is called Eight Things the Coronavirus uh, Should Teach Us. And we've been through a couple of those already, our fragility, also our equality, and we're up to uh, number three right now. Which is our loss of control, and we do all love to be in control and feel like we can control what's going on in our lives and around us. But this is a stark reminder that we cannot. Right, exactly. Um, You know, we may be uh, armed with our disinfectant sprays and all kinds of things like that, trying to lower the risk of being infected. But there's um, nothing wrong with trying to really focus on uh, who's in control and trying to remember who's in control because God is in control, as we just read here from uh, Psalm 90 just a little Mm -hmm. bit ago. And his purposes prevail. And his promises will come true. Mm-hmm. That is both a incredible comfort, but also a warning to us. Right. You know, that we need to be right with him. Mm-hmm. And if we're not right with him, to start now. That's right. And so, you know, maybe there's a scripture verse that you have um, turned to recently, or that one was brought to mind at services yesterday or uh, whatever that um, brings you comfort or a verse that just reminds us of really, you know, our position right. in this whole thing mm-hmm. and who's in control. We'd love to hear those scripture verses. You can always uh, text us or you can call us at 800-221-9356. But also if you're watching Facebook right now. Yeah, you could just put it down on the comments and, and uh, share your Bible verse with us. Shelly did that this morning. She mm-hmm. said, uh, Lamentations three twenty two and 23, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases His mercies never come to an end. Mm -hmm. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Boy, that is one to hold on to. It sure is. Thank you, Sally. Appreciate you sharing that with us. You can do the same. Call or text us, 800-221-9356. I also have some um, verses in Psalm 118 that are really comforting, too. Okay. Jordan shared one, too. Oh, good. In Psalm 42. So can you show me where I see, th- where I can find those? Um, I was actually going to ask you because I didn't see Shelly where she came in. So oh, Shelly was a text. He, she was, oh, a, was text. a text. Yep. Ah, that would be a reason why I couldn't <laughs> see it on the Facebook Live. <laughs> We're all new to this, or, or at least I am. All right, so... Trying to figure this out as we go. I try to do things that don't show my face or body. <laughs> that's why I went into radio. So that's why we're going to do it like this. <laughs> hey, we're all family, though. It's okay. Oh, Jordan says Psalm 42. Is that what you mentioned already? That's what I said. Okay, yep. That's why I said Jordan, Psalm 42. This is what happens (laughs) during Ken and Deb in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) One thing I'm realizing as we're doing this and we're watching ourselves on Facebook Live, I notice how many times I actually do touch my face. Stop it. I know. We're not supposed to do that. And I'm watching myself, and I'm going, wow, I really do do that. There's a lot of things we don't realize we do. Right. That's why I'm not watching it. (laughs) (laughs) Denial. (laughs) All right. I'll just point them out to you then. Oh, thanks. (laughs) Uh, Go. It's 10 minutes after 7 o'clock. It's Ken and Deb here. And normally uh, during this time, uh, we would be talking about share that's mm-hmm. coming up tomorrow. But right. 
we've, as, a, as Moody Radio, have decided this is a, a time when we really need to be focusing on faith over fear. And so we've decided to postpone and cancel our share event for this week. And we hope you'll be a part of just sharing hope throughout the week with people. And maybe you even have a story of how God has filled you with faith in a time of fear that you'd like to share with us and that would encourage folks. Um, This kind of isolation is probably unprecedented. I don't remember ever being in this situation before in our nation um, where we, we had to be inside. Right. But maybe some of you have been through that because of an illness or because you had to be in isolation because of mm-hmm. cancer or something else. And right. you, God really taught you some things during that time. We hope that you would share with us during this week so that we can bless others with what God has taught us. Yeah, and so you can always get a hold of us uh, while we're doing Facebook Live right now. Uh, so you can comment there. Uh, you could also just call or text us as well at 800-221-9356. And uh, let us know maybe those verses that you're holding on to right now. Maybe your pastor yesterday uh, had something to say about this whole situation that was really profound, that it was, has stuck with you, um, and some, remi- some reminders for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, share those with us as well. Mm-hmm. We'd love to have that encouragement this morning as we're kind of teaming together as one big family and just uh, encouraging one another. Here's for King and Country and Burn the Ships on Moody Radio. <clears throat> I could dance. <laughs> See, Jen, it's not fair because stoic. Jeremy's dancing back there, and and we can't. Well, I, I guess could we could switch the Mevo around, couldn't <laughs> I? You can try. <laughs> Don't you touch that. <laughs> you can't touch this. Bow, 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 bow. Uh. Okay, so I'm seeing uh, on the on the right hand side is that is that right where there. you see the comments? Right there. Yeah. Okay. Right there. All right. Yep. Good. Thank you. Like for your Dave, help. you know, touched in, uh, checked in with us this morning. That's great. And, <clears> and you Yvonne, put down believe and receive. Yvonne joined us, so that's cool. I don't see Yvonne. Well, she's right there, where it says Yvonne joined the conversation or joined okay. us. Okay. You're not seeing it. I know mine doesn't have that on it, so I'm wondering. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, yours is better than mine, as usual. <laughs> well, we are using a Mac, and you're using whatever that is. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a ThinkPad. Uh, I wish it would help me think better, too. <laughs> Frank's checking in this morning too, but oh, by good. a text. So All right. I don't Hi, know if Frank. he's watching. I don't know if he's watching on Hi, Facebook Yvonne. or not, but. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <clears throat> so this is our first. What are we calling this? Uh, Mid morning coffee. The break? Ken and Deb Mid morning mi- show, show coffee break. Yeah. So is it permissible during the coffee break that I would go and get coffee? Because I don't, I, I drank all mine. <laughs> I can't share because of what's going on. That's true. You can't. <laughs> Not that I would anyway. You know, it would be kind of weird. interesting <laughs> is to see how people at church <laughs> greeted each other yesterday. Did you do the elbow? elbow? You know, there were some people that were doing like, you can't see our feet, but they were doing like the touch yes, of the, the touch foot. the toe. Touch of the toe. <laughs> <clears throat> I went up to another guy and did a, the old... Valley bump. Uh-huh. <laughs> Said, you see, there's all kinds of ways uh-huh. that we can greet you each other. You can give the virtual, you know, the hug without hugging. That's you know, true. you can do the hug without That's right. hugging. That's right. High five without high fiving. Right. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I you I'm doing that my whole life. You know, it's like <laughs> I miss. <laughs> oh, so, are we going to play? Um, we're going to talk about some of the scripture here. Yes. Okay. That's Psalm 42. And... 
for King and Country. There's Burn the Ships on Moody Radio at about a quarter after seven on this Monday morning. Ken and Deb here. Thanks so much for joining us. And we're still live on Facebook. We're going to do this uh, from 7 until 725 and just kind of have some fun with yes. it yeah. uh, on the uh, during the weekday. And um, so you'll get a chance to see some of the antics behind the scenes mm -hmm. of what's going mm -hmm. on. I'm uh, really trying to be good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well, Deb. I so only is have your, 10 more minutes to go. <laughs> so is your tactic to keep the headphones on at all times? That way it's kind of like a leash that you can't go very that's far? That's right. Is that what that's it is? A, that's right. Okay. It just wasn't keep my head out. in the game. Right. Which we, we all should. I like it. Head in the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we're asking you also today to uh, share some scripture verses with us that, um, you know, are you're holding on to right now. And I know that uh, Dave checked in on Facebook and said that Matthew 8, 14, and 15 are some verses right now that he was talking about, how to uh, really believe um, in what the Lord's promises are. And so, right. thanks, Amen. Dave. Also, Jordan said Psalm 42, which starts out, As the deer pants for streams of water, so mm -hmm. my soul paints, pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. Where can I go and meet with God? And then it says, these things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the mighty one with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. I love that. Just yeah, a reminder good. that we can be disturbed and we can be anxious and yet let's take that and just turn it over to God. Let's mm -hmm. put our hope in God. Let's praise him, for he is our Savior, and he's our God. He's in control. He's mm -hmm. the one that has the power to change and to heal and to restore and yeah. renew. That's right. And so maybe there's some verses that you would like to share. Uh, another great one that uh, a lot of people will quote, and that is Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Mm. The long is the stronghold of my life. Uh, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm. And so there's a great uh, verse right there from Very Psalm 27. Good. So maybe you've got one. You can share that with us. Call, text, or post it on our Facebook page. And, of course, our number is 800-221-9356. <clears throat> Those are good. Yeah. So, Jeremy, mm -hmm. what is this whole thing that says start a watch party? What does that do? When some, for, we're, doing, we're learning this along with everybody here. Well, say someone's at watching the video and right. they want to invite their friends to watch it along with them. Yeah. It, that's your watch party. Oh, okay. You're inviting people to have social interaction through the Facebook Live video. I got you. So we probably should have done that at the very beginning, huh? To get more people through our individual Facebook pages. We could have done that. It's an option. Yeah. Okay. You'll have to show me how to do that. I'm <clears throat> Facebook Live deficient. <laughs> So if you have a Bible verse you want to share, just give us a call, 800-221-9356. I think it would be great if we had, you know, a few more Bible verses. I right. haven't um, shared anything from Psalm 118 yet, but I do have a couple verses from there that yeah, that'd be great. Um, that I'd love to share. and. And share you shall, Deb. Mm -hmm. Also, we're going to talk with Carl Bader's coming up, and he uh, has a book on 100 Days to a Healthier Church. And I know we're consumed with the coronavirus, but right. we'll also be talking about maybe how the church can respond and, and be a part of uh, helping the congregation through this mm -hmm. and helping your pastors through it, too. Yeah, that's good. So that's coming up here in oh, about 10, 15 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. And a news update, of course, on the way here in just a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. 
720 now. Good morning. We're uh, asking you to share Bible verses this morning um, that you're holding on to right now and maybe encouraging others with. Maybe you got some great encouraging Bible verses that you've used to, to maybe help someone in the fa- past couple of days that's been a little fearful mm-hmm. during all that's going on. You had some you were going to share. Yeah, Psalm 118, verses 5 through 7. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord, and he brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He's my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Mm -hmm. And that just really spoke to me that that, uh, that God is where I should find my refuge. He is my helper. He's the one that's going to bring us into that spacious place that Mm -hmm. we're looking to be. Sometimes we feel all cooped up. But when we meet with him, it's like a spacious place. We have this freedom. We have this joy. Mm -hmm. Um, He can bring us, and he is going to bring us to that place. There's an eternal hope we have, too, that's way beyond this world. Yeah. And just think a difference that that'll make in somebody's life that is feeling a little bit uh, afraid or anxious because of what's going on. And and if they see us having that hope, what a difference Mm -hmm. that can make. And so Mm -hmm. as we go through, remember these verses and be able to share those with others as well. News update coming up. Here's Elevation Worship on Moody Radio. Good morning. This is Jeremy. Here, hold on. Good morning, Moody Radio. Who's this? This is Karen. Hi, Karen. Do you have a Bible verse you want to share with us this morning? I I sure do. Yeah. Um, it's from Psalm 94, 18 mm-hmm. and 19. When I said my foot is slipping, your love, O oh Lord, supports me. Mm-hmm. When anxiety is great within me, your consolation brings joy to my soul. Mm. Mm. That's good. That is very, very good, Karen. Have you used that I used verse? That, I used that um, when I was going through cancer. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's very applicable, applicable to um, what is happening today. Yeah. It sure is. It sure is, Karen. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that yeah. with us this morning. Thanks, Sharon. Sure. Have a good day. Have a good day. You too. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Also, Gino had uh, Joshua 1 9. Oh, yeah, that's good. Thanks, and Gino. Thanks Vince, for checking in. Yeah, Vince had Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. All right. Oh, that is so good. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. That's Psalm 91. Yep. That's really good. Comforting. So we got about a minute left in the Facebook Live. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Our first broadcast. That's right. Don't know if this is successful or not. (laughs) It'll depend on whether you come back, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Yep, so every uh, every weekday about 7 o'clock, between mm-hmm. 7 and 7.25, we're going to do a Facebook Live and chat, mm-hmm. um, and you can kind of get a glimpse into what's going on. We'll do our mid-morning show coffee break mm-hmm. uh, every weekday morning. And we got news coming up here in just a minute, but thanks for joining us. Keep on sending those Bible verses yes. as well. We want to hear those and see those that we can share with others today. You can do that right here, or you can call us, 800-221-9356. You can text that number as well. Yeah. Thanks for joining with us. Well, at least wave goodbye. Bye. <laughs>